what's up guys so today what's up guys so today i'm back my hair is freshly washed in these two little pigtails um today i'm using healthy thicker curls um stronger natural hair um that right there is their shampoo that i just used on my hair um i like this shampoo because it's not too thick and it's like really slippery um but as far as like the shampoo process my hair does feel super clean but it didn't get really like soapy or foamy or anything like that but i have no problem with that um just as long as my hair overall feels clean now i'm preparing my hair for a half wig um and i'm gonna of course show you guys how i do that but i'm just showing you guys the products that i'm going to be using preparing my hair for that so i'm going to use the healthy thicker healthy thicker curls um leave-in conditioner this is their extreme nourish and repair leave-in um i'm going to go in with their hair growth oil which has soybean oil almond oil grapeseed oil and coconut oil in it and then i'm also going to use their super hair moisturizing cream it has shea butter olive oil jojoba oil and sunflower oil in there as well so just gonna get right into it like i said i'm doing a half wig i'm not sure which one i'm doing yet so i'm just gonna take out my twists and i'm just gonna part off the whole front section of my hair because i don't know how much i'll need so i'm gonna start from behind the ear and kind of curve it up you know with half wigs you kind of have to leave you know your edges out and stuff like that for it to look realistic so I'm just parting that section out really quick. It doesn't have to be perfect because mine isn't at all. Just as long as I have enough hair out. Okay. So this is going to be the main section for the leave out for the half wig. I'm just going to tie that away really quick okay and this hair company they actually um product company i'm sorry they also have um hair growth pills as well i have those but i'm not gonna hmm, that smells really good take them for the actual video so um for my hair i think i'm just gonna do maybe like four I can do two flat twists. I'm going to go in with the leave-in first. And I opened this before. And I really like the texture of their leave-in. Um, my hair is low porosity. So really slippery products work really well for my hair. Um, and this leave-in is like super slippery. You can't see it, but it feels almost like water. And that's exactly how I like my leave-ins, okay? And you can see right there, it's kind of already defined in my curls, which is lit, okay? I'm going to do the other side. And for low porosity hair, it's um, important that you put your leave-in in as soon as possible. Because our hair gets really hard to work with when it dries up because when it's dry it's dry and if you have low porosity hair you know exactly what I'm talking about so just getting that in there I like this leave-in though like I said it's like been defined in my curls already I didn't even do anything yet okay now if I can get it open because my hands are slippery I'm gonna go in with their super hair moisturizing cream. You can't really see it, but it's it's thick, pretty thick. So it's probably like really good for twisting cream. I'm just gonna put that in there as well. Y'all know I'm onto the trying the no gel method or as, at, as least gel as I can. And I like products that like define my hair immediately. It's lit. I'm gonna go on with my Tangle Teaser. 
and just make sure all the kinks and stuff is out. And I'm not even going to do flat twists. I'm just going to let my hair kind of slick back like that. And I'm just going to twist it. Like so. And I think the closer I get towards the bottom, I'm going to braid it. Okay, because this weave in and curl cream got my curls defined already. I ain't even did nothing. Okay. And this is me starting a braid towards the end. And then I'm going to twirl it. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Add in my cream. I normally don't show this part, but I don't know. Try something new. I haven't done, you know, natural stuff as much in a while, so why not? You guys like to see what's going on with my life, my hair life, so this is me showing y'all. So if y'all see me using different conditioners and can. Um, shampoos and stuff just because this is what I'm like literally doing in real life I like to try new stuff I'm a product junkie if you guys haven't noticed so I like to try a lot of different stuff just to see you know how it does with my hair and how my hair takes to it um so yeah just expect a lot of expect a lot of this okay once that's done I'm gonna go in with their um, hair growth oil that smells delicious. I'm just going to rub it around the twist. Literally. And then enforce it at the bottom. Retwirl it. Retwirl it. And we're done with that. Now, for this section, I'm going to put the leftover oil on here. And I don't know which half wig I'm putting on, so I'm just going to get some of the leave-in. And I'm literally just going to split it in half. And put a little bit of the cream on there. And I'm going to flat twist it. Flat twist each side. And that's just gonna give it some like type of little curl. Treat the good stool like a gift shop. Treat the good stool like a gift shop. Alright y'all, so once you finish the two flat twists on each side, you can go to bed. Um, your hair should mostly dry. If not, it's okay because you'll have a wig on anyway. Um, but like I said, this front section, or these two front sections, are your leave out for the half wig. Everything else will be in the back in a wig cap. So, it doesn't really matter how it's looking as long as it's tied away. Um, and I'm going to pin those two twists up in the back as well in a second. Okay twirl there we go okay and I'm gonna twist it in the direction that I originally twisted it 
put it up here. Same thing with this side. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I hate when a little ball comes off the bobby pin. It makes me not want to use them. Okay. Now, for these, I don't want them to come undone. Ooh hair product on my lips I can taste it so for these I'm gonna twist them and bring this up right here I'm just gonna clip it with this little clip here Same thing with the other side, that, and time for bed. We can do our edges in the morning. Um, yeah, I'll be back to apply the wig. Guys, I'm back. It's morning time, so um, I haven't decided which half wig I want to put on yet. But the one that I do have out of the package um, right now is um, came in this box right here. It's by Sensationals um, Kingston Curls and co-line kinks no curls kinks and co-line i can't read um tailored textures yeah this is the box it came in and this is what her picture looks like okay and this one is called rule breaker and i got her in f1b slash 30. so f1b 30 is like this color here i really don't know if i'm gonna like this one so i'm just gonna try it on and you know half wigs they come with the combs at the bottom and the combs at the top and then they also have the um adjustable straps in the back just in case it's too loose so i'm just gonna go ahead and Let me take these down first. Take the clips down for my leave out. Okay. And I'm just going to pop this on my head. I usually don't use the back combs. I usually just use the combs like right in the front. Like that. Okay. So this is what it looks like on my head right away. It's actually not bad. It looks better than what I was expecting. But as you can see, when I put the comb in, it literally just holds it right behind the leave out. I've done half wig tutorials before. So I feel like I don't really have to explain to you guys, but for the people who have never worn one before, yes this is synthetic these are like my favorite go-to wigs when i don't feel like doing like a wig wig okay so i'm gonna take out this twist and you see how fine that is okay healthy thicker curls um and it's like really moisturized and soft by the way and one flat twist goes a long way for leave out. Okay, for um, half wig. And if, um, like I have another um, half wig that I'm gonna try. Um, I bought that one as well. And that one kind of looks like a body wave texture. Um, so really you can just kind of set your hair according to what texture you feel like your wig is going to be. Um, so for that one, I'll probably like do maybe flexi rods on my leave out section instead of a flat twist. But usually flat twist or braid usually goes with whatever you do. See how that goes together. Real quick and easy. 
and I love half wigs because I don't have to put all my hair away I can still use my own edges it just it's just for the days that I don't feel like being extra with the frontal and laying it down and all that because sometimes that just gets annoying but um y'all go ahead and comment below some other half wigs that you guys want me to try um by the way i do have their other one and this one is called um, this one is called game changer and this is what she looks like and i'm gonna try that one on as well not today but um probably in a separate video and they're also this november well it's november 1st now but they're coming out with um i think it's like two or three more for this line and they're so pretty they look like um like kinky straight hair why is my camera out of focus kinky straight hair and i can't wait to buy those ones so oh yeah i bought this with my own money so this isn't sponsored at all I was just online surfing but yeah if you guys have any more wigs or half wigs you guys want me to try definitely um just comment below let me know i don't really know how i want to wear this but y'all see how seamless it is to blend oh this is my hair look i thought it was a piece of the wig blend my hair in there with it i'm gonna do my edges really quick like I said, for the people who have never worn a half wig before, um, yes, it is synthetic, but it gets the job done, especially curly synthetic wigs. Like, they last for a really long time. This is all I used to wear before I even started doing frontals and all that stuff. Before I even knew what that stuff was, I was wearing synthetic wigs like crazy. Like, and a lot of times I wasn't even doing the video on the synthetic wig. It was on something else. And people just thought the wig that I had on in the video was my hair, which it wasn't. Because I started wearing them as soon as I big chopped. So, I love half wigs and synthetic wigs, period. I will never turn my back on them. Even if I don't wear them as much as I used to, I just will never turn my back on them because these things get the job done. Okay. But yeah, comment below some wigs or half wigs you guys want me to try. They can be synthetic. Well, I'm speaking of synthetic ones. Because, you know, this is the synthetic wigs and stuff is for my people who um, are just getting into wigs and don't want to waste their money and buy all these bundles and stuff and don't even know how to wear them. And then it just kind of ruins it, you know. Wasting money on something you don't even know how to um use or wear i don't know like it's kind of like i'm trying to think of a good like analogy um i don't know yeah i don't know i'm thinking hard too like trying to trying to run before you can walk like learning how to walk is synthetic wigs and then running is the front tools and all the other stuff gotta learn how to walk first don't rush into it people be trying to play out synthetic wigs because most synthetic wigs their pictures be ugly like in the hair stores beauty supplies and all that and online but they be mad cute like on the actual head i don't know they need to that's one thing they need to um improve on like it's gonna be 2019 they need to style these wigs nicely so people can really know what they look like because really you can kind of have an idea but sometimes people don't have reviews on them on youtube so you kind of just gotta buy it and see what happens see how you could finesse it but half wigs are the best to me as far as synthetic goes because with some like Synthetic wigs already have a part in them and stuff like that. Some of the parts be like walling, and some of them don't have a part when they need one, and it just it looks crazy. And you got to do a bunch to try and like 
finesse it and make it look decent. So with half wigs, all you gotta do is pull your edges out real quick, twist them up, and you got a whole new weave. Like, y'all, I don't know what I'd be doing with this middle piece. I just want it to be wavy looking. I don't really know how I want to wear this, honestly. Cool, right? Like, And just kind of blend your hair in there and you're good to go okay I like this a lot actually my test of if my hair looks cute is on snap and on snap honey I'm looking banging okay yeah okay i'm done fooling but this is the finished look of this oh what was this one game changer or no rule breaker um wake from the since that should uh, sensational line i love it um yeah so like i said before just comment below some half wigs or synthetic wigs you guys want to see me try out that i haven't already um but yeah thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next one